Hi everyone, it's Emmys here again. Uh, I've been having a play with my Misty again and I've discovered that I can use my very old quilling mat as a sort of a buffer for the for the lid. I feel as though it's something for the lid to rest on when you're inking the stamp. So I've just popped some scratch paper in and I've got a stamp set called Flights of Fancy by Clearly Besotted and I'm just going to make sure that I no, I haven't actually practiced this card so I'm just having a little play around as to where I'm going to put the sentiment and so on and make sure that it's going to look in proportion so I'll just pick the stamp up now with the lid and I want to stamp another one of these butterflies onto a piece of um, scratch paper so I'm just placing the paper for that I'm going to be just be cutting the wings out of this second butterfly I'm using two inks this is Mali Blue by Simon Says Stamp and I'm inking the whole butterfly but then I'm wiping away the all the ink from the center and side of the wings and just stamping around the edges as you can see giving it a wipe and with a baby wipe and then drying it and then I'm stamping the whole stamp with lemon chiffon also by Simon Says Stamp and this blends with the blue that's already on there and the edges are now a really pretty minty green colour the two colours blend really well so now I'm moving on to my pre-cut um, card front and I'm doing exactly the same stamping with the Mali Blue wiping it off and then stamping It wasn't until I was editing this video that I realised how far away the camera was. I'm really sorry about that. And also, I wished that I'd used some stronger colours, although it makes a very pretty card, these two colours. It does mean that you can hardly see the antennae and body of the butterfly at all. So, I'm sorry about that. So, next I'm going to do the sentiment, which I'm stamping in... A black versifying ink and you'll notice that every time I pick a stamp up before I actually press the stamp back down again I just check the position of that cardstock just check that it's right in the corner so that it's in the same place I stamped it twice just because I can because I really like the magic that uh, happens when you when you can stamp twice so exactly it's uh, it's really really fun to do so I've got two tiny butterflies here and I'm stamping those in the same color one's a solid butterfly which I've picked up now and I'm going to stamp that in the yellow And then I'm just placing the the second step of that particular butterfly over picking it up and then I'll stamp that in the blue I'll just do a couple of these for quickness and the same thing again yellow and then the blue I'm finding these magnets really, really helpful. I didn't have them at first, but now that I've got them, uh, I wouldn't be able to live without them, I don't think. And that's all the stamping done. So now I'm going to just go away and cut out those those wings so I've cut them out and I'm just adding some more of the concentrated blue to the edges and just a little bit of yellow to the to the center 
I also added off camera some Wink of Stella and I decided I wanted a strip of uh, the same blended colours just to underline the sentiment so I'm just quickly putting those together and I'll just cut a very narrow strip I decided I like the shading on that third piece best. So I'm just going to glue that down with some, I'm using some Cosmic Shimmer Glue which I've got in a one of these bottles with a very fine tip that puts out just tiny, tiny dots of glue that's perfect for this sort of thing. And I'm going to use that to just underline the sentiment. It just breaks up that rather blank area. I'm going to attach the butterfly wings that I cut out with just a couple of pieces of foam tape. Just in the middle I want the ends to be free and I'm putting some Cosmic Shimmer glue down on the inside so that that sticks flat to the card and then the foam tape just raises those uh, raises those wings a little bit and this is where it becomes apparent that I should have used a stronger glue because you can't see the body of the uh, of the butterfly at all but I will try and put in a shot showing that at the end. It is there but it's in the very very pale yellow. And like all YouTube videos it's just to maybe inspire somebody or make you think oh I could have a go at that or I've got a stamp that would work like that. So I've got, I've already cut a pale yellow card that I'm going to put on with foam tape. It measures four and a half by five and a half. My face is looming into view now. I don't know what happened with the angle of this camera this time. If it is our miles away I'm really sorry about that. I'll try and rectify it for the next one I do. I've got some gold liquid pearls and I'm just going to dot a tiny, a few tiny dots around the, uh, the body of the main butterfly. Because I'm left handed, my hand's in the way. And I've got some, uh, I don't know what colour it is, it's very pale aqua liquid pearls that I'm putting tiny dots on the antenna and I'm just flicking the card from underneath so that the liquid pearl dots flatten out and don't dry uh, in a pointy way. So that's it and I'm sorry about the, the distance, you can see the antenna there. Thanks so much for sticking with me through this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.